let's talk about relational dialectics theory. Relational dialectics theory was founded by communication scholars Baxter and Montgomery, and it looks at the fact that our relationships change over time and that tensions within our relationships are totally normal. It deposits that good and clear communication is necessary in order to resolve those tensions. Relational dialectics theory has four key features. These are contradiction, totality, process, and praxis. Let's talk about contradiction first. Within a relationship, we often come across two wants, needs, or desires that are contradictory to one another. And those contradictions are natural in any relationship. They're also sometimes referred to as tensions. Totality is talking about the fact that we need to look at all of the tensions that exist within a relationship rather than just looking at one in isolation. Because all of the contradictions, all of the tensions that we might experience in a relationship can impact one another. In addition, these tensions can be internal or external. If a tension is internal, that means that the two people within the relationship have contradictory needs, wants, or desires. So it is internal within the relationship between the two individuals in the couple. If it's an external tension, this means that the needs, wants, and desires of the people within the relationship contradict the needs, wants, and desires of the people outside of that relationship. So it's us versus them type of deal. Process is another important feature of relational dialectics theory. Because as we said before, relationships are things that change. In fact, it can be said that relationships go through the process of change. And in our relationships, we can resolve some contradictions, but others might arise. And in addition, our own feelings, needs, wants, and desires may change over time. And then finally, we have praxis. These are the ways that we behave in relationships, the practical things that we can do to either ease, ignore, or exacerbate the tensions that currently exist within the relationship. Now, we can experience a lot of different contradictions or a lot of different tensions within our relationships. But relational dialectics theory breaks these down into three major categories. The first of these is integration separation. Internally, within a relationship, the individuals within a couple might experience the tension between connection and autonomy. To put it simply, we want to be connected to each other for safety and security, but we still desire to be free to make our own decisions without the need of the other person's approval or without having to consider their needs. So within a couple, internally, we both want to be connected to the other person, but also want to maintain our own autonomy and be our own person simultaneously. That's why there's that tension there, right? We want to be connected and separate at the same time. Externally, a couple might experience the inclusion-seclusion tension. Um, this it happens when the couple wants to include themselves in social interactions with people outside of the couple, while at the same time they feel the need to exclude or seclude themselves um, to spend time alone together. So it's that tension between wanting to go out and wanting to stay in, right? Wanting to be a part of the larger society and wanting to just be our own little bubble at the same time, right? So those are the two main integration separation tensions that we might feel. Internally, between the couple, we might feel connection autonomy. And externally, we might feel inclusion seclusion tension. Another major category of tension is stability and change. Within the stability change category, internally, a couple might experience a tension between routine and novelty. 
ultimately, we want routines in our lives for stability, right? We like that we watch the same TV show every night while we eat dinner, for example. But at the same time, we also want to mix things up and bring in some excitement, some novelty, some newness, right? So there's this tension between wanting to stay in the routine and wanting to do the same things, but also wanting to try something new within that relationship. Externally, a couple might experience a tension between conventionality and uniqueness. Right, so um, a couple might want to be a very traditional couple that dates for a few years, gets engaged, gets married, has children, etc. But a couple also wants to be their own thing, right? They don't want to look like every other couple that you see in a magazine. And so there's that tension between wanting to please others and what they think that your relationship should look like versus wanting to have your relationship be unique to you and your partner. And then finally, the last major category of tension that we might experience is expression, non-expression. Internally, within the couple, we might experience this as openness, closedness. This is basically describing the tension between wanting to share everything with our partner and wanting to be an open book, but also wanting to have those secrets, those little things that only you know about yourself. So there's a tension between wanting to express yourself and wanting to not express yourself within that relationship. And then externally, a couple might choose, might have a tension between revelation and concealment, right? So this is looking at what it is that the couple reveals and conceals about themselves to others. Right? So maybe the couple wants to um, announce to their friends and family that they are now dating, but they've only been dating for a couple of months and it's around the holidays and they don't want all of the expectations that come around with that. So they decide to conceal that information from their family, even though they want to be able to tell them. And a lot of couples experience this, especially LGBTQ plus couples, right? Because so often, LGBTQ plus individuals are rejected by their families and so coming out to their family that they are in this relationship um, could potentially be dangerous uh, either physically or emotionally for the individuals within that couple. And so they want to be able to reveal their partnership to their friends and their family um, but they conceal it instead because they feel that tension, right? They feel that fear. So when we look at relational dialectics theory, we're really looking at all of these different tensions. And whether it is internal or external, and whether it is integration separation, stability change, or expression non-expression, these tensions are, again, all completely normal. And a couple is likely to experience one or more of these tensions at any given time. It's important for us to look at the totality of all of the tensions that are felt within a relationship in order to figure out the practical things that we can do in order to balance these tensions within our relationships.